Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a bins haul. Wah, 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 wah. You asked, you shall receive. Yeah, we did it. We went back to the bins, our favorite place in Dallas. Y'all, look how high my ponytail <laughs> is today. It is all the way up. Higher there. the hair. No, all I the can way. go a little higher. Thumbs yeah. up if you want me to go higher. <laughs> There's no high ponytail on the Memojis, and I'm upset about it, but let's get going. Somebody get in touch with Apple and make this happen, or the people that are in charge of the emojis, because <laughs> I know there's like a whole group of them out there. Ariana, Ariana Grande and I have some complaints. You got beef. Right. So we got, what, three Ikea bags full of stuff over here? Yeah. We can go through? Uh, our bins charges... One fifty nine a pound, I mm -hmm. think, for clothing. Sixty nine cents a pound for hard goods, and two twenty nine for shoes. A pair. A pair, I think, and then one forty nine for little baby people shoes. Right. It. I might be a little bit off, but that's about about it. About I should have taken a picture of the sign. We don't normally enjoy going to the bins, but you guys want us to, and then we always like it once we're there. So we're yeah. like, ah, oh, this isn't so bad. Right. If you don't know. Huh. The bins is the Goodwill outlet. Some right. people don't know that. Yeah, everybody's like, what's a bin? What's we, the bins? We go to the one in Dallas. Yes. And it was really interesting because we had donated a bunch of stuff to the regular Goodwill. And it showed up at the bins, the <laughs> outlet, in the boxes that we had donated in. So yeah. it didn't even hit a Goodwill. Yeah, I mean, it was within seven days of when we... We dropped it off about a week ago, a week before we went, and there it was. So we're thinking that maybe, you know, when we saw that, we're like, oh, maybe this is good stuff. Because normally at the bins, it's what didn't sell at Goodwill. So right. it's kind of like hit or miss. Yeah. But I think a lot of this may have been raw donations. Just Something never even hit the floor. We hit. We hit pretty good. All right, we're going to get go. into it. First thing is this pair of Lucky Brand men's jeans, the 3032. They are, you know, they're in pretty good shape. There's one little stain on the front, but that's easily remedied by a quick toss in the washing machine. <laughs> Who's remedying it? <laughs> That's it. I'm yeah. the laundry person. All right, this is a dress shirt from Mizzen and Main. Come on. Got it. There it goes. This is like a new popular brand. It's a little stretchy, so that'll do. Gingham? It. Okay. Yep. Yeah, iron it. Ugh. Oh, don't the want worst. to do that. All right, what did you get here? Oh, I bought this. This is from Umji. This is a boutique brand, but we do, uh, and by boutique brand, I mean. It's but, not. No, it's too. If you don't know what a boutique brand is, it's something that you can buy at like a fashion mart as a wholesale item and then sell it in your boutique. Uh -huh. We do well with this brand, and yeah, show the it's the thing. The styling is similar to Free People. There you go. Oversized fit normally, and um, yep. we do well with it, so I got it. I'm just gonna try to keep it in a nice little even pile. Okay. All right, this is a three button pinstripe sport coat from Xenia. Nice. I know, right? They're... You guys are getting into menswear. This is a no fail brand. Yes. 100% every time. It might take a while to sell to find the right size. Yeah, especially with the three button. They're not super in style at the moment, but... But at the bins... Can't go wrong with that. You found it! <laughs> I did. <laughs> he was on fire. <laughs> this is a nice little uh, Lululemon top. Still has the... What do you call it? Pull tag. Pull tag. There you go. I've heard rumors, you know, when I watch bins, size I'm like... six. Y'all didn't find that at the bins. You know, in my head. I swear. Found you it found in the it bin. at the bins! Boom. We're going to say that a million times in this video because I was yeah. so surprised. Yeah, not this one, but the next one for sure. What is this? This is another sport coat. Uh, it's a two button. It's a Hugo Boss. Um, black see. label Hugo Boss. Uh, it moves consistently. Um, not for, Again, not for huge, huge money, but I mean 50 to 80 bucks. Nice. Yeah. And we probably paid a couple bucks. So that's great. Yeah, here's the one that you you were like, what? I can't even believe it. I checked this thing 45 times to make sure it was real. Yeah, all right, here's a nice... This uh, two-button silk wool blend sport coat from Burberry. Like new Burberry. 
Yes. And he found it at a bin. Yes. So it's these big blue bins you kind of dig through. And people had already dug through it. And it's a big and tall 51. Um, and it's 52% silk, 48% wool. It's a 52 long is the size. We should say thank you to everyone for asking for bins videos. Yes. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> I don't think we would have gone had you guys not been asking. This thing is now wrinkly, but... Steamer. Yeah. Oh, we put all... Should I tell them about the thing? You Somebody wants the, the thing. thing. We got yeah. this, this heater. I added the link to the last video, but I'll link it down below as well. Yeah, it's this It's this thing you plug into the wall. We leave it in our garage, and you put all your items in it, and it heats them to 160 degrees. 60, yep. Oh, that's for me. And, um... It kills any like bed bugs or anything that yeah. might be so every time we go to the bins or we have clothes from the thrift we put them in there first before bringing them into our house it was two hundred dollars but peace of mind we're right there that's for you too totally <laughs> i picked up a couple you know non-brand things for me everything i wear is target or what, something all right what did you what is this tiger king tiger king too it's out this is like a vintage robe lingerie tiger i had to have yeah, it. it is Oh, intimate attitudes. Okay. Hey, girl. This is hey going girl. to Depop. Three, four X. Hmm. I don't know. It's like one size, kind of. Yeah, you should just send that to Steph. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> I love it. I had to have Damn. it. What is this? Sports bra. Love bras. I will sell a bra all day long. This is from who? Victoria's Secret. Uh huh. There you go. I love it. Tag is in there still. There you go. So bras can get worn out. So yeah, I make yes. sure the tag. Sport. Yeah, I make sure the tag looks really fresh. It's gonna reflect the light. I'm so we're trying with the labels. What's the trick? Do you move the light closer or further away? You get a better camera. Ha ah, ha ha! Better camera. Pinkies up. It's about time to upgrade those phones anyway. <laughs> nice. This is me. I found all the crap. Dan found all the good stuff. New with tags. Bucky's and Bucky's it glows in the dark. Shirt, glows in the dark. Let's boo this. <laughs> we saw all the, every time we list something, Bucky's is sells. Yeah. Like, okay. Bucky's is a gas station here in Texas and other places. It has millions of gas pumps and millions of bathrooms and millions of food, if you don't know. Yes. It's like a Wawa and sheets if you're my East Coast people. Right. But like but Texas. times <laughs> Texas. <laughs> the best explanation you're gonna get yeah all right this is uh from lane bryant what pair of jeans shorts with yeah. some super sweet detail they have all these pearls and diamonds and rhinestones i had to get them i had to get them we love selling shorts and we love selling plus size size 18 can we do it oh i think we can do this one we oh, got it kind of a little, little out of focus but it's okay you get the uh point. we love you know adding different sizes to our closet so that's good what is this this is tommy bahama Little baby top. It was like, so tiny. Little baby outfit. Very cute though. Very cute. Okay. We do well with Tommy Bahama. I haven't tried baby stuff. Nope. We'll see. Blue corduroy. I, I think I bought this. Banana Republic sport coat with the Profilo uh, Italian fabric. So this kind of the higher end Banana Republic yeah. stuff like this does decently well it'll move and it'll move quick for uh, i don't know 40 bucks something like that probably yeah I, I think that people know what size they wear in banana so it's easier for them to purchase online yes uh but we don't pay full price like at this thrift store that would probably be 12 bucks and we wouldn't ever do that but at the bins right? everything's free <laughs> so i'm sure these all belong to the same person because two of them are exactly the same okay um these are just some plain uh, turtleneck cashmere sweaters. Cashmere turtlenecks in neutral colors are in right now. From Neiman Marcus, so. So we'll have to check these very closely. Will it work? Come on. For holes, because. Um, no, it won't work. We'll have to check them. Cashmere gets holes in them but very yeah. easily. Yeah, anything that's 100% cashmere is usually a pretty safe, safe bet. So there was one. Here is number two. Someone had a uniform. <laughs> For sure, right? Yeah. And then there is a vest. Nice. Also in the same cashmere. Before I was a reseller, I, or before I was a 
two years in reseller, I would have been like, don't get those. They're not the right brand, you know? But really, it's about material. Yeah, for those, it doesn't matter at all. They will sell. And Neiman Marcus is, I mean, it's a high-end department store, if you don't know, uh, from here in Dallas. And yeah, even their store-branded stuff will sell. Um, What'd you get? I found some streetwear shorts. These look comfy. Yeah, these are from uh, Limits. Spelled with a Z. <laughs> Is that gonna work? Kinda, you can kinda. It's like embroidered, uh, stitched in there in the same color, so it's a little hard to see. But you can definitely tell, these are definitely streetwear shorts. They're like cargo shorts, um, or carpenter. I got a loop right there. Carpenter, you wear these to work. Right, they got drawstring on the legs. We do well with this kind of like lounge it's wear. Very, it's really unique, yeah. Street wear. One time we had a, a jumpsuit like this kind of, and we sold it for like a couple hundred. So I found two. I found a cool. red pair. Did you look them up by any chance? Yes, and a gray pair. I could not believe this man looking up things at the bin. So I just throw things in the cart. He was looking them up <laughs> at the bin. I'm like, oh, you are, <coughs> you are a great reseller. I love this. All right, this is a Torrid star print dress. It's a skirt. Skirt. We have sold this exact skirt before overnight. The novelty prints from Tora do exceptionally well. And it's a size three. So that's a, what, a three X from Tora, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Tora has vanity oh. sizing. So their sizes are one, two, zero, one, two, three, like that. Got it. Uh, but they're novelty prints. I'm telling you, if you can find them, get them. All right, anybody need a Carhartt hat? Boom. Dad hat. Dad hat. Isn't that a dad hat? Yeah. Oh, the totally. floppy ones. Yeah. And it's like shallow. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in our group is always like, just run it over with the car. <laughs> It'll the, sell better. The more thrashed, the better. <laughs> uh, this is a pair of Adidas Clima Cool shorts. We sell the heck out of these. Yeah. But we don't ever pay more than a dollar. Yeah, it's just like a basic, like, outdoor. They feel like dry fit, and shorts. people wear them for golfing, <coughs> and fishing. We sell, I'm telling you, every time we get those shorts, we sell them. What is this? I don't know. This is fabric by Loro Piana. Our so that's favorite. a good sign right there. And it is a Brooks Brothers Brooks Ease. Oh, nice. Um, blazer. This is a classic blazer. Show the people. Navy blue, metal, gold. Uh, go the other way. Other way. Buttons. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is the definition of a blazer. This is a blazer. The other things we showed you are sport coats. So people miss, we find them all the time mislabeled on the interweb. Yes. Those brass buttons really make it a blazer, that academic style. Yes. What is this? Something by BKE? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked like a festival situation. Gimmicks? Is that what that says? Gimmicks? Ah, I think that BKE. says gimmicks. I don't know. They're trying to very be free small, people. You know, this super is tiny like metal tag. Yeah. Trying to be free people. Totally. But it's cool. So I got it. That is kind of cool, yeah. Look like a festival shrug wrap Something. cardigan open front a situation fringe <laughs> all the words you just keyword dump somebody will buy it. <laughs> you bought this. I did. I was like, what is even is this thing? It, Have not tested. And it. you put it in the heater? Oh no! Oh crap! <laughs> uh, it's a morph suit, a black morph suit. Um, where is it? There it is with a light up LED thing on the back here. You put it in the heater and though. And I did, I put it in the heater, so I may have killed it, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea, because here's the uh... A morph suit is a is a piece of spandex and it goes over your whole body, including your head, but you can see through it. Battery pack. I've directed many shows with morph suits in them. Yeah, it's like Green Man on It's Always Sunny. <laughs> I don't know that, but yes. Yes, it's exactly like that. All right, what is this? Oh, Rolling I got Stones that for me. T-shirt? Boom. Yeah, I just got like a graphic tee. All right, I found this. This is a women's blazer from Ariat. That brand does well for us. It really does. I yeah. wonder if a blazer would do well. Is this a blazer or a sport coat? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know in women's land what you call this. I think you would call it a oh, blazer. Oh, we call it, it's missing a button. No, no, it has it. It has the spare. Okay, I got to sew it. Yeah. So it has Ariat branded buttons. That's Ariat good. Pro Series. Um, 
Yeah. It's a Western brand. Ariad is a, yeah, it's an equestrian brand. Did you know what it's named after? No. It's named after Secretariat, the horse. Ariad. Ariad. Oh. Yeah. So we say Ariad, but we should probably say Ariad. Probably. Mm. <laughs> Good to know. Yes. What is this? Uh, E-Nice, E-Nice, Jean Shorts. Say E-N-Y-C. E-N-Y-C. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Streetwear. These are from the 90s. Super 90s. We're doing well with that Y2K 90s. That's right. Trend. We just sold some Jinkos for over 100, so that was good. Yes. These are kind of on the same line. All Another right. one. Another area. We find a lot of this stuff since we're in Texas. Uh, this is trying to be like a North Face kind of mm -hmm. jacket, sort of. Got a sideways pocket there. That's pretty cool. There's like a fleece-ish on the yeah, inside. Yeah, we can pull over. Yeah. And in the brand as well, we even sold a pair of area tennis shoes. Yeah. They're like running shoes. Yeah, the boots do really well, obviously. Right, right, right. But I mean, they're off-brand stuff. Not off-brand, but like not their most popular types of stuff. Right. They also do well for us. Uh, got another hat. This is from 1791 Supply and Company. Mm -hmm. But it's like kind of, you know... Velcro, like, military uniform. I so. want that in my costume closet. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys know I want this. In, I'm a costume designer if you're new here. Um, because then I can put any patch on this. Yes, you can. All right, this is a pair of BKE jeans. They are, like, the lowest. The blingiest. Lowest rise. No, no, not the blingiest. But trying to be. These thick stitch jeans do well. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're still selling. They sell, but yeah. we do not pick them up at the Goodwill because they are, our Goodwill charges $9 for jeans. No and then thanks. if we're at the regular thrift, not Goodwill, they charge probably 12 or 20 for yeah. a thick stitch. Uh -huh. So we don't ever pick them up unless or we're more. at the bins. I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't know about this. I should have looked it up. What is it, a pillbox hat? Is that what these are called? Yeah, but it, no, that's not, I don't no. think that's what they're called. That's like a little, that's an old lady hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's not like a standard baseball cat. You right, know what right, I'm right. Uh, Adam's Golf, something. I forget what you call this, but I'll look it up. It was new, that's why I got it. I don't typically buy hats that aren't new. I'm making a mess over here, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, new with tags, loft, top, floral, simple, whatever. New with tags, it'll move. And it was light. So that's basically free. <laughs> free. Basically free. Oh man, another big bra. I love from it. From Torrid. Yes, I got some good Torrid stuff. There you go. Again, make sure the tag on the bra isn't faded. That if it's faded, that means it's been washed a lot, and that will in instantly destroy the integrity of a bra. So basically, if it looks like new without tags, I'll get it. But otherwise, I don't do that. Don't do it. Look All right. This guy. This is also from Torrid. Yeah. Bam. What size is this? Who shopped in our bins hall? Because somebody wants this. This is hot, hot, hot. This is a size three. Come on now. Size three. Come on. Come on. Check out. These things will get listed almost immediately. I'm going to list bras first. You, need, you know you need it. Right. Oh, this is cool. A little suit supply uh, tie. You can't tell on the screen, but it's knit. It is knit. It's very, very cool. Feels like a sweater, and it's like got those chartreuse in it. Those kind of like off ugly colors. Man, Love it. There was a lot of sport coats at the bins. Imagine that you found this because nobody looks nobody inside of them. Nobody looks for them, right? So this is another two button. It's a navy blue with a pinstripe, and it is dun dun dun. Hickey Freeman. Another no fail brand. Yep. If you're looking to get into menswear, we got some menswear videos on our channel that are very helpful, I think. And you'll see Hickey Freeman come up quite a bit. All right, we made it through the first bag. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep moving on with some more clothing, and then we got, what, some plush over here and some shoes. So, we found it all. What is this? This is New With Tags uh, Aqua. Don't care about the brand. Guess what I'm listing this as. Show the people and um, then let them oh, guess comfort. below. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess below, I'm a costume designer, mm -hmm. and this was New With Tags. Hello. <laughs> uh, Wednesday Adams called and she wants her dress. Yeah. So that's going to be a new Italian Wednesday Adams costume Something. piece, as I listed. This is cool. I've got a black fuzzy sweater. There's like fuzzies going situation. on. Situation. Okay, there's no tag up there. What is this? 
Oh, it's Vince. Nice. You're not going to be able to... Why do I keep trying? I'm not... The Vince Knits <laughs> do particularly well for us. It's nice. It's like a medium weight. That's pretty pretty nice. And whenever you're you're at the bins or anywhere and they don't have a t uh, tag at the top, check the side. That's what right. I did. And this Vince. Put it in the cart. Put it in the cart. No sweat sweatshirt. Does this have a brand? Hey, mm -hmm. it does. This is from Mother... I don't know why. Again, I'm trying to show you the tag. Can we? Let's try. Oh, it's tilty, like a white tilty. one. Like oh, the a, white ones are the worst. They're the hardest. Yeah. Mother's a great brand of denim, but they also have, obviously, shirts. I think we might have some denim in here, too. Uh, I think we might. I remember. Maybe. <clears throat> this. Probably should have looked this up. A long it's just sleeve, regular Nike. Nike, whatever. Running. I thought it was cool. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of neat. And it weighed nothing, so... So, there you go. I should have looked it up. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's all right. Th these all right. fuzzies. I know. All right, we got a knit um, faux leather situa duster thing from mm -hmm. Blank NYC. That's an okay brand. We got a bunch of it from B&G once. Yes, and we're still trying to sell it. We need to <laughs> lint roll this. But this is a cool piece. It's kind of like the Matrix. It looks a little trenchy. It looks a little goth. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Perfect timing, too, because the new Matrix is coming out. See, I'm going to put all those keywords in. <laughs> Sometimes, I would say, a lot of the time, you can sell like a, a, break, a basic like that by having the right keywords. For sure. Yeah. What is this? Swimsuit from Speedo. Speedo swimsuit. Never met a Speedo. We Just didn't like. One piece polka dot swimsuit. List your swim now. People are buying it from us. Even in the winter. I don't know about this. Some scarf. It was a scarf. We'll try. We'll try it. Yep, here's the denim. What is this? Oh, these are frame. Oh, Very nice. Frame. That's what it was. We can show this. We can do this. I have I have faith that we can do this. There it goes, kinda. Great brand to pick up. The style does matter. These are the Le Grand Garçon with the factory distressing right there. These are cool. I don't know how they ended up at the bins, but they're cool. You know what? Sometimes it's best not to ask those questions. Right? <laughs> and the guy, when we went there, he was like, we got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, we do. Like this this theory. Check that out. It's like a... It's like a teary. Open cardigan. Yeah. With like some roll sleeves. and. This brand is okay on the resale market you gotta wait a little bit yeah again it's how you title it and brand it if you just like basic theory open cardigan is not gonna sell right so we gotta figure out something to make that sell uh, this we don't have to figure out anything because i was about to keep it boom come on I, <laughs> I could not it looks like it says fart wait no mm -hmm. it does not say fart of stone there you go <laughs> fart of stone that's what Perfect. it looks like <laughs> anything with share on it i'm by what is this? Steadfast rule. I don't know. This looks like a cheapo brand, but it was cute. Sadie and Sage. Does anybody? It's like a very... Girl. Mm. Mm. No. Sorry. Like a... It's nice. It has a little belt. It's a little sundress. Mm -hmm. We'll try it. Again, lightweight. You were finding all the good stuff. I was just putting stuff in the... What <laughs> in the world? I don't know. It's got butterflies on it. It does. It's like a... What is this? It's from Foxy Docs. Any idea? Nope. Like a, like but a, I don't leave behind a novelty print. It's a little dress thing, right? Yeah. Y'all tell us if you know this brand. It's got a little pussy bow at the top. It's cute. Cute. Um. All right. I think we are moving on to the bag of plush and stuff. Plush and stuff. Plush and stuff. Ready? Yep. Tell us about this guy. So there are two of these. Nylon. A shout out. Here we go, you guys. My favorite new reseller that I am, like, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Shout out to Rebel. Rebel the reseller on YouTube. We will link her channel down below, right? Yes. We freaking love her. I love Rebel. We sell a lot of plush, but Rebel sells basically only plush. Yeah. I love her so much. Anyway. 1995 International Silver Company. She's always talking about puff lumps. These are not puff lumps, but they're kind of like a dupe. And with the holiday season. Yeah, it's season, the same kind of thing. It's like nylon and scratchy. I am going to soak these in a batch of water and retro clean. 
Uh, yeah, I think yeah. that's what it's called. And we're going to get these stains out. There's a little bit it's of discoloration. It's a miracle cleaning powder. It's unbelievable. We can link that below as well. Sure, we'll link all this Go stuff. Go check out Rebel's channel if you're into plush and toys and vintage. <laughs> Rebel the reseller, go check it out and tell her that we sent you because we're obsessed with her and we need her to know that. You need a little pineapple friend? Yeah. We sell pineapples. People love weird plush pineapples for some reason. <laughs> and uh, artichokes. <laughs> ceramic. Artichoke has to be ceramic. It's gotta be. <laughs> I'm telling you, we sell the weird. I don't care. All right, here's another one of these puffalump type things. Right. What is this one? I don't know, so it's vintage, it's a made, in, made in Korea, so this is definitely vintage looking. A reindeer. I was walking through the bins with this, and my whole bag was like, eee! Everyone's staring at me. In the car, the whole way home. <laughs> it's festive. <laughs> totally! Yeah, but you know, it's got the snow, snowflakes on his mittens. So we're going to try to get this stuff listed very soon, yes. so it's holiday appropriate. Mojo's going to be all over that when he wakes up. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, this, this is a plaid throw blanket from Woolrich. Oh, good find. Genuine Woolrich, yes. It's got a black tag, so we're going to try it. It's not going to focus on it. I got you. We also sell blankets like this yeah. a lot, more than you'd think. This reminds me of the blanket uh, from the River Cruise. Yeah. But that one's better. Fabric so, content's better on that one. <laughs> but this is a nice blanket. This yeah. has got like a lodge feel. We'll just put all the keywords in. For sure. Sell this baby. Sell it. I love the bins because oh. we can sell it for, you know, we can take an offer and we're not losing money ever. That's right. Man, this thing survived at the bins. Amazing. The San Antonio Starbucks mug. You are here. No, this isn't the... the this is not a you are here. It's the one before or after that. Right. Anyway, it's just we, the general city ones. And these do better than the you are here is right with the skyline on. i don't know well the no 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 the emboss like the 3d ones do the best oh, okay yeah just put that back there there you go <laughs> but it is at the bins and people in our bins throw stuff and it breaks all you hear is like smash crash yeah not cool man. so that's why i pick up half the breakables i do because i don't want them to get broken all right this is handmade in china from tony toy we don't know about this brand do don't we? know about this brand but it looks looks vintage okay what is this little fuzzy guy? Oh, come on. It's too bright. There it is. Hello. <laughs> Cute. All right. There are so many fuzzies flying in the air. This is my plush find of the week at the bins for sure. Bam. New with tags, Jelly Cat. This is our favorite brand to sell of plush. Come on. Work with me here. Nope. The new with tags does... Extraordinarily well. His name is Medium Truffles Pig. So there you go. I don't know how you found this at the bins. I don't either. But I was like, I think I, just, I actually saw the tag sticking out like that. I was just like, okay. Dan has an affinity and he always seems to find Jelly Cat. Yes. So if you've never heard of that brand, it's really good to look out for. People still collect it for their kids. And retired or not retired, they still do well. All right, what is this thing? This is a lovey. Okay. I don't know anything about the brand, but it's my friend Eddie, Chelsea. It's from Eddie Bauer. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but I didn't know if it was good. But right. Chelsea told me to buy these, so I'm buying them. Chelsea, I'm I bought it. Well, she bought for it for you. you. Well, for me, from you. Right. So it's like a little blanket thing with a stuffed animal head attached to it. Yep. We learn stuff from people in our group, and we we bought, you know, we buy a lot of stuff based on the advice of people in our Facebook group. Hairbrush. I brought a hairbrush at the bins, and this might be an Amazon special, <laughs> and I made sure we disinfected it. Yes. It, it was brand new, so that's why I bought it. This is a classic example of <laughs> junk we like to sell. Vacuum cleaner bags. So awesome. Got a barcode. Super easy. You scan it, list it, boom. That probably cost us 10 cents, and yeah. we'll make, I don't know, 8 bucks off it. Oh, man. The vintage heating pad for Mojo. <laughs> you knew I couldn't leave this. Oh, look at that. I'm going to sell this. This this would sell on Etsy or Depop, I think. Three heat, wet proof. All right. Okay. But it stays on. That's good. Does it stay on? Yeah, man. It's just got an on switch. You just, fuck, you just leave it on. See, our cat, <laughs> Mojo, if you haven't met him, he's 21 and he's addicted to a heating pad. And he yells until we come read. It turns off every three hours. Yeah. And he just yells at us. <laughs> no! And we're like, oh, God, he needs a recharge. All right. We, uh, we found some... Dyson vacuum accessories. 
at the bins. Uh, we'll Google Lens this stuff to find out what it is exactly, and this kind of stuff will definitely flip. Super fast the list too, and I mean, we've lost attachments for our own Dyson. Uh, that's true, yes. These fit our Dyson actually though. All right, we are moving on to the shoes. We bought some shoes, but we are very selective very. because 249, I mean, I'm saying. Ugh. Except these were worth 249, good Lord. Yes, these are snowboard boots from Solomon. Good brand. Yes, I don't know anything about snowboarding. Um, so there you go. But I, I know that these sell for a decent amount of money. And at the bins, you can't go wrong for what, $2 and something? And they yeah. look brand new. They look great. They look brand new. Every time we, we list this brand, it sells. <sighs> oh, you woke him up with the boot. Oh. oh. <laughs> We're filming during the day. That's why Mojo's not as active. Yes. He's sleeping in his igloo of judgment right now. Oh. You, I told you not to put the shoes in the heater. So you really shouldn't put shoes in the heater if you're going to get a heater. I done messed up. I told him not to, and then he, he did it anyway. I'm sorry. I'm, we, we can glue that, maybe. I don't know. I got some shoe glue. Shoe goo. Uh, these are Uggs, but kind of unique Uggs. Look at that. They're like mostly leather and then suede. Until Dan Until heated them. <laughs> Hello. Uh oh, <laughs> hi. Sorry about that. Whoops. Oh, man. Whoops. It gets real hot in that thing, I'm oh, telling man. you. I, did I kill all the shoes? Did you? I don't know. I may have killed them. Oh, no. He's up. He's up. All right. These are some very interesting and unique looking Doc Martens. They will sell. Even the ugly ones. Yeah, man. That's Hi. Mojo. He's fine. You want your heating, your new heating pad? You want to check it out? <laughs> uh, this is a pair of Cole Hans. These are, these are a style called a chucka boot. Chucka boots. They're very popular in the 70s. And Come if on. you list them as a chucka boot, like that. they will sell very well. Yep, that's what this style is called. Right there. What are you doing, guy? It's a good color, too. Those I know. Nice. All right, this is a pair of coach heels. Nice. There you go. You do okay with coach shoes. Right. You do okay. What are you doing? <laughs> you then woke him up. I know. All right, we got a pair of fry flats. And I, I killed the heel. We got to glue that back on. There you go. I watch Ben's hauls all the time and people find amazing brands and I just always think that they're not truthful, but this is the truth. This is what we found at the Ben's. Fry, oh. Doc Martin, Solomon, Uggs, we found them all. <laughs> okay, I got three little baby pairs of shoes. Baby Crocs. Because I could just put them in the sink. They're so cute. Yeah, the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like my new form of junk. I'm going to just sell baby shoes. Right? And then baby shoes. These are native. And people love these shoes. Yep, it's not going to. What are you? Come on up, buddy. Come on. It's time for um, Mojo's cameo. And that's it. We're through with the bins haul. Ho! 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 He almost fell. Here's Mojo. Come on. Mm -hmm. 21 years young. This guy. He's the face of our channel. <laughs> He's everything. We hope that you guys like this bins haul. Please encourage us to go to the bins more. Yes. There's one in Dallas and one in Fort Worth if you're from Texas. We're going to do a, we're going to really try to get a bunch of this stuff listed ASAP. For sure. So that you can see when it sells in our What's Sold videos. We do them every Monday night. You can check in Tuesday morning. Would be a really good time. We post kind of late on Monday nights, but we are dedicated to getting two or three videos up a week this at this point. That's a goal. That's our goal. We're dedicated. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Again, go visit Rebel's channel. We love her. If you're into plush or vintage toys, yes, and so consider subscribing if you want to see more of Mojo. Right, Who we'll doesn't? See you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.